part one video on a series that I'm going to produce on uh, my exploration of finding ways to charge a a Bofang using Bofang UV via R radio is what I'm currently you know have charging 12 volt uh, or using a 12 volt power supply whether that's through a vehicle or you know um, you know a, a sealed lead acid battery you know kit uh, you know out in the field uh, to you know to provide a charge that's something that you could charge via a solar panel the battery and then be able to use this to charge up your um, your radio so uh, in my past video I discussed how this device this cord that they sell on Amazon and other sources eBay that say that it's for the UVI 5R it is not stepped down at all it all it is is 12 volt to 12 volt which the charge cradle that uh, Bofeng provides uh, it requires a 12 volt or excuse me 10 volt input voltage at point uh, where the the wall wart uh, the wall adapter produces output voltage is 10 volts at 0.5 amps or 500 milliamps um, and the this the charge cradle then steps it down to 8.4 volts um, to charge the actual battery which is a I think 7.2 volt lithium battery that the so uh, there's there's a whole formula there that they use for charging batteries certain voltages and so on and so forth um, <clears throat> So currently, I just the the device that's going to make this happen, and we'll see if this one works. Uh, there's a couple other ones that I found on eBay. Um, you know, let's go over this one first. It's it's an AC to DC adjustable voltage regulator that step or step down power supply module with an LED display. It will range in DC voltage. It'll range from um, 1.5 or 1.25 volts to 28 volts. I'm currently having issues getting it going over because there's a load on it over uh, and it might be because my battery is is going dead on my uh, my little power supply, my 12 volt uh, sealed lead acid battery here. Uh, I'll have to check that after this but I, I already did charge this once uh, the this radio with the extended life battery uh, using this so we'll, we'll see what I said I'm going to have to play around with that some more. Uh, cost is seven dollars and twenty-five cents with eighty uh, eighty cents to shipping. Really cheap shipping and a U.S. shipper. Uh, key part about that is you're getting parts like this off of eBay. A lot of them are sourced from China. This I'm sure was originally sourced from China, but just brought in by a U.S. distributor and then they sh they ship it. Which if you're you're looking to get something in a timely manner, look for a U.S. shipper because if not, you know the China shippers might be or the China distributors might be cheaper. But you're going to end up waiting you know, sometimes in excess of 30 days. So, if you really need something now, um, it's better to, to find a, a U.S. shipper. You're going to pay a little bit more usually, uh, but that's probably because they paid to ship it in. You know. All right. So, you know, that's kind of a side note. But uh, so it, um, there's a couple other ones um, that are they're a little less, or they they are adjustable, but they don't have this real stat style adjustment. I'm gonna look into those, uh, you know, and see how they're they're cheap enough. They're like three something a piece. Um, in fact, you can get like ten of them for pretty cheap. So um, I'm gonna look into those too and see how well they work. Uh, they're like I said, they are still adjustable. I don't think they have quite the range, but they are adjustable. All right. Uh, oh, and so for this project, I'm gonna put it in this this waterproof enclosure plastic box got from Lowe's for about seven dollars um, you can find ones like this on Amazon and stuff like that that usually don't have the rubber seals and stuff and a little thinner plastic like they call them project boxes and stuff like that uh, for uh, less but you know I wanted to get something locally and try it out I, I, I did order some connectors that go through that'll go through here that do have rubber grommets on them and my end, end goal here is to have the the box be at least water resistant obviously it may not be submergible or for any extended amount of time but if it gets rained on or whatever um, it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna short it out or water's not gonna get in, intrude into the inside and and uh, you know obviously destroy this this module so uh, like I said everything here is just temporary hooked up but um, uh, once once I'm getting ready to finish this project I gotta order some more parts 
uh, it'll be all cleaned up and I'm going to try to use uh, at least the Anderson PowerPole style connectors for the output cable so that I can make multiple uh, you know little pigtails for different types of char charging applications um, uh, a note on that is you definitely, you know, with this being a water resistant and a waterproof style uh, enclosure, to get to the adjustable rheostat, you're going to have to remove the four screws to get in there to adjust it, which is obviously a little pain, but, uh, you know, if you're to get something that I can make <laughs> um, that's water resistant or waterproof, uh, it, that's just going to be a step that you know, I'm going to have to go through. Uh, there's, there's some other options out there I'll explore later, but. This is step one, uh, and, and, and a little disclaimer here, I'm not a any sort of uh, electronics engineer or anything like that. I mean, I know basic, um, you know, basic concepts of electricity and whatnot, but, um, you know, and have a lot of mechanical experience with, you know, vehicles and, um, and uh, aircraft with uh, some of the electrical systems on those, but I am not by any means a electrical, you know, electronics uh, specialist or anything like that. So, um, uh, so just so you know that, <laughs> and, uh, that should do it. So, uh, stay tuned for part two, uh, where hopefully I will have the connectors to go through the box. I'll have the cables and we'll hook it up and see how it works. And I'll see what my issue is here too. Why I'm going to test my battery, uh, why I'm not getting, uh, adjustable or higher voltage at fully adjusted. So thanks for watching this is Nomad76.